Hey, it's Keith. What's up? So how are you doing? I am driving in Lake Arrowhead going up Cuffle Canyon right now. It is a new moon. It is a new moon on, in October. It is when I traditionally will start a liver, gallbladder cleanse, detox. So this is an extra special year for me with doing a lot, a lot of different disciplines. I started a radical yoga practice. Stanga yoga teacher training, doing nine sessions of yoga a week. So, this is to talk about the new moon detox liver gallbladder, full, just full on detox of where I'm just going into it until the full moon and I'm stopping for two weeks. So, the full moon's on, I think, November 4th or something like that. So, um, Okay, so the first uh, protocol is that I am doing, within the, the liver gallbladder detox, is I'm doing, uh, I'm liquidarian. So I'm uh, having, a, it's called a nutritional fast. I'm doing most of this protocol within what is the sort of Dave, uh, Dr. David Jubb protocol. So I'm doing blended foods, juices. I must drink, I guess, about probably 16 ounces of apple juice a day and um, then I am also going to be uh, rebounding and doing a niacin flush while I'm rebounding with like activated charcoal so that's going to uh, cause me to um, pulling over for a car. That's going to cause me to, um, the niacin flush is going to, you know, gives you that, that sort of rush, that push, that, that stretch within the cells. So that's going to push the, the toxins out. And then I'm going to, um, take out once. So once the, uh, niacin flush kicks in, I am going to down some activated charcoal and then I'm going to rebound, and then that's going to loosen everything up. It's going to get the uh, uh, everything moving. It's going to get the uh, what you call it, the lymphatic system. It's going to get the lymph system going. So I'm going to be doing some soup recipes, uh, blending up some stuff like the uh, burdock. Uh, this will this will probably go up before my burdock video, um, which is already done. I'm doing stuff out of order. Uh, yeah, and then so on the uh, full moon or somewhere thereabouts, it depends on where it falls. Then I'm going to trigger the liver gallbladder cleanse. So more about the liver ball gallbladder cleanse later. I mean the actual trigger of it, which is which is pretty pretty the 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 um, blended fast by itself is like I've gotten some great results where like I, I I detox I feel really good I'm I'm in a really good position to be doing that right now so um, lots of great stuff I'm getting really skinny losing a lot of body fat like this is not about a weight loss thing this is really about detoxing the body and all of that stuff so I'm just really wanting to push that the astrology is beautiful right now for for change for you know just a lot of things of uh, like like God this is this is I need to do this and I need to do this of uh, this time right now is like where you've had the ideas and all the things of knowing what you need to do um, this time you just do it. And that's from basically when Jupiter went into uh, Scorpio, which was October 10th. And then I believe this sort of energy of like, do, do it, lasts until December 12th, I think. So, um, anyway, slightly distracted, being slightly illegal here. But yeah, it's a new moon. And I am making huge changes. The Jupiter Scorpio thing is going to be huge this year of getting into what's real, 
of like again of, of like a lot of the things and the changes that you've realized that you need to make since October 2012 this is me repeating some astrologers like you know the three astrologers I listen to the most most uh, not in any particular order some months it's more this one some months more that one but it's the Leo King uh, Kai Pacha Tom Lesher the Pele Report and Rosalila Healing. Those are kind of the biggies for me. As far as astrology, that's who I learn from. And I'm studying myself. So um, just repeating what I'm hearing. I'm just, uh, you know, don't claim to be an expert. But, like, I'm definitely into what's going on. And I'm feeling the sensitivity within the cosmos. And so... Uh, I'm just waiting for the cars to go by here. So I'm sitting here, like, distracted while I'm driving my car in the mountains trying not to piss people off that are trying to hurry home from work headed back towards my house I haven't done this drive on my blog in a long time I was just in Lake Ohead and now I'm heading back to Running Springs so um, this is going to be interesting because I see like I'm down to I'm 6'7 six, six, I'm down to basically 180 pounds um, I can see that a bit more fat could go away from me. So uh, um, I did bonk a few times with getting this new yoga practice going. Had to eat a little bit more. But now that my body, my core muscles have built up. Uh, I'm just back to, to kind of eating what I do. My sort of nutrient-dense, old-school, raw, sproutarian thing. But now it's going to shift a little bit because I'm doing blended food. And so uh, I won't talk so much about that. But my strategy, you know, for like making food that I like is a little bit different with blended food. I'll talk about that in some blogs. Um, but I'm starting today. I just had my last solid chewing uh, meal before the new moon, which was uh, at 12.12 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, my time, today, October 19th. Uh, not much else to say, but I'm uh, going into this uh, dimension door of an alchemical furnace of changing my life in probably the most radical way that I have since 2015. So I'm already, I think I'm already beyond that with just having uh, acquired the navigation and the shift in dimensions to like entering this yoga teacher training. Uh, that just happened quickly. I don't know if, I gotta talk about that a little bit too, how that just all happened like magic. Um, What else? I think that's it for now. So it's Keith. Uh, support me by supporting my music. Secondculture.bandcamp.com. Second-culture.com. Um, since, uh, like, I don't know how far back, but I just, I'm putting up an MSM video. It's already up on YouTube. I just have to make it public. I'm writing stuff in the drop-down. So besides the usual stuff that's there... Um, Probably from now on, like on this one, I'm probably going to do some poetry, some of my stream of consciousness poetry. So there will always, at least for an era, be like some kind of text in the drop down for me. So on this one, it's going to be like a new moon, stream of consciousness, automatic writing, poetry. So the last one, I don't know if I said that, uh, a bit of like our my feelings about MSM and how it's affected me. Maybe some stuff I'm repeating from my blog. Maybe some other stuff that I didn't say in my blog. All right, it's Keith. I am almost into Running Springs. I already said support me by supporting my music in love, in magic, bright blessings. Namaste. Over and out.
now entering Running Springs. Haha, <laughs> now you know how to get to my house. Stalking encouraged. Later.